Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlighten Me. Today we explore how retrieval augmented generation enhances AI accuracy, the importance of nurturing entrepreneurial thinking, and insights from a global survey on innovation strategies. Stay tuned for an engaging discussion. What if I told you that the brilliance behind chatbots and AI-driven customer service tools could be significantly improved, reducing the instances where they provide information that's not just incorrect, but convincingly so? This is where Retrieval Augmented Generation, RAG, steps in, offering a robust solution to the shortcomings of large language models, LLMs, like OpenAI's ChatGPT. Today, we will explore why RAG is rapidly becoming the go-to method for enhancing the accuracy and reliability of generative AI, gene AI, applications. At the heart of the issue with current LLMs is their tendency to hallucinate, providing answers that, while grammatically correct, are factually inaccurate or completely fabricated. This is largely because these models are static. They are trained on a fixed dataset that becomes outdated almost the moment the training is complete. For instance, ChatGPT's training data ends in September 2021, meaning it's unaware of any developments or information that emerged after that date. This limitation severely impacts the model's ability to provide up-to-date or domain-specific information, making it less useful for applications that rely on current data or specialized knowledge. Enter Retrieval Augmented Generation. RAG addresses these critical flaws by integrating external up-to-date data at the time of query, ensuring the information provided is both current and relevant. This dynamic addition of information allows Gen AI applications to significantly reduce the occurrence of hallucinations and boost overall performance. But how exactly does RAG work? Imagine a customer asking a support chatbot about the latest features of a product. With RAG, instead of relying solely on its pre-trained data, the chatbot can pull in current product information from an external database. This means the chatbot's responses can include the most recent updates, specifications, and even stock availability. The process involves two key steps. First, identifying the context or specific information needed to answer the query, and second, generating a response based on both the pre-trained model's knowledge and the newly retrieved data. The benefits of RAG go beyond just providing accurate, up-to-date information. It also enhances the transparency and auditability of Gen AI applications. By integrating external data sources, RAG enables these applications to cite the sources of their information, much like how research papers provide citations. This feature is particularly valuable in fields like law or healthcare, where verifying the accuracy of provided information is crucial. Despite its advantages, one might wonder why every Gen AI application isn't already using RAG. The answer primarily lies in the challenges and costs associated with implementing such a system. Setting up and maintaining an up-to-date external database, ensuring the seamless integration with LLMs, and managing the additional computational requirements can be daunting tasks. However, with the development of specialized vector databases like Pinecone, which are designed to facilitate fast and efficient data retrieval, implementing RAG is becoming more accessible. Moreover, RAG presents a more cost-effective solution compared to other methods aimed at enhancing LLM performance, such as creating custom foundation models or extensive fine-tuning. The latter approaches not only require significant financial and human resources, but also entail ongoing maintenance efforts to keep the models relevant and accurate. In real-world applications, companies are already leveraging RAG to improve their Gen AI services. For example, IBM's WatsonX platform incorporates RAG to provide more accurate, reliable, and verifiable responses in its AI and data solutions. This capability is proving particularly useful in customer service chatbots, where providing accurate, up-to-date information is paramount. In conclusion, 
Retrieval Augmented Generation represents a significant step forward in our quest to harness the full potential of generative AI. By addressing the inherent limitations of LLMs, RAG not only improves the accuracy and reliability of AI-driven applications, but also opens up new possibilities for their use in various industries. As technology continues to evolve, RAG will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in shaping the future of AI, making it an exciting area for both developers and businesses alike. Now let's move on to how fostering entrepreneurial thinking is crucial for both children and adults. What if I told you that the most innovative and successful ideas often come from thinking that is counterintuitive, challenging the very assumptions and accepted wisdom we've been taught to embrace? How do we foster this entrepreneurial mindset that continually questions, innovates, and solves problems in a world that seems to prioritize conformity and memorization over creativity and critical thinking. This is the crux of our discussion today, where we delve into the importance of nurturing entrepreneurial thinking for both children and adults alike. At the heart of entrepreneurial thinking is a sense of curiosity and a willingness to explore the unknown. Traditional education systems, with their focus on rote learning and standardized testing, often stifle this natural curiosity. Students are rewarded for regurgitating information rather than questioning it or thinking creatively. This raises a critical question. How can we cultivate an environment that nurtures rather than suppresses the entrepreneurial spirit? Consider the story of a child whose curiosity was allowed to flourish. This child wasn't confined to a rigid learning structure. Instead, they were encouraged to explore a variety of interests, be it video games, gymnastics, or joining debating competitions. This unstructured exploration is the essence of what education should be about. Fun, tailored to individual interests, and most importantly, conducive to developing independent thinking. Unfortunately, the reality for most students is quite different. The educational system tends to funnel students into narrow academic disciplines, limiting their perspectives and stifling innovation. It's a system that produces experts who are often so specialized that they're unable to see beyond the confines of their own fields. Yet, history shows us that real innovation comes from the intersection of diverse domains of knowledge. The technical advances in computers, for example, relied not just on the expertise of electrical engineers, but also on the theoretical insights of mathematicians. The importance of a broad foundation of knowledge cannot be overstated. Pioneering thinkers like Charles Darwin and Leonardo da Vinci excelled because they were able to make connections across disciplines. This broad foundation allowed them to build new conceptual frameworks, leading to groundbreaking innovations. It's a powerful reminder that expertise in a single domain often blinds individuals to unconventional possibilities, while a more generalized knowledge base fosters creativity and innovation. This brings us to the value of liberal arts education, which seems more relevant today than ever before. Unlike specialized education, liberal arts expose students to a variety of thinking modes and areas of study, fostering a flexibility of mind that is essential for innovation. It's interesting to note that some of the most successful companies were founded not by software engineers, but by individuals with liberal arts backgrounds. Their diverse experiences allowed them to envision possibilities that went beyond the technical limitations of programming. So. How do we reclaim this entrepreneurial thinking in our own lives? It starts with giving ourselves permission to wonder and wander, to engage in unplanned activities that spark creativity. From taking random walks to indulging in unstructured conversations, these idle moments are crucial for challenging unconscious assumptions and fostering breakthrough ideas. It's about balancing disciplined work with freewheeling exploration, nurturing a beginner's mind while applying expertise. In conclusion, the path to innovation and success isn't linear. 
It's a meandering journey that requires a balance between focused effort and the freedom to explore. By embracing our intrinsic interests, taking risks unconstrained by preconceived outcomes, and allowing our minds to wander down unconventional paths, we can unlock the entrepreneurial thinking that leads to true innovation. It's a lesson not just for childhood, but for life. Seeing the world afresh every day is the key to creating something truly remarkable. Now, let's look at how the most innovative companies are succeeding through strategies highlighted in the 2021 Global Survey by the Product Development and Management Association. What sets the most innovative companies apart from the rest? This is the question we dive into today, inspired by the latest findings of the Product Development and Management Association. PDMA's 2021 Global Survey. With responses from 651 companies across 37 countries, this survey offers unparalleled insights into the practices that drive innovation. Let's begin with an intriguing perspective shared by Max von Zetwitz, a professor at the School of Economics and Business, Kaunas University of Technology, Lithuania, and one of the co-authors of the study. He likens the process of innovation to the act of learning and observing. He argues that ceasing to innovate is akin to aging, a process that, if not managed well, leads to obsolescence. The PDMA's survey, now in its fifth edition, is the most global yet, with a significant focus on European and UK companies. It aims to identify what makes a company the best in terms of innovation, According to the criteria established back in 1997, the best companies are those that not only hit their financial and product development targets, but are also competitive and meet or exceed their own expectations. One of the key takeaways from the survey is the emphasis on evolving new product development capabilities. This is crucial for companies wishing to remain competitive as circumstances and environments change. Interestingly, the survey, conducted during the pandemic, revealed that the best companies continued to invest in new product development, unlike their counterparts who adopted a more defensive stance. So, what differentiates the best from the rest? The survey findings indicate that there isn't a single practice that sets them apart. Instead, it's their ability to manage various aspects well simultaneously. Notably, the best companies develop new products significantly faster than others. This isn't merely a skill, but a result of effective management of diverse practices. A closer look at the practices employed by the best companies reveals a focus on radical versus incremental innovation. Companies that dedicate a significant portion of their projects to radical innovations tend to be among the best. Moreover, these companies are more inclined to enter new markets, apply new technologies, take more risks, and adopt long-term strategies. Now, let's understand the distinction between radical and incremental innovation with some examples. Incremental innovation involves minor improvements from the customer's point of view, like moving from one smartphone model to the next. In contrast, radical innovation represents a fundamental change in how a product interacts with its customers. For instance, the transition from traditional cell phones to smartphones or the introduction of a groundbreaking medical therapy. In a free market, the drive to innovate stems from a desire to remain competitive. Companies must adapt to constant changes to avoid becoming complacent. An example of this adaptability is how companies have responded to climate change and the COVID-19 pandemic, showcasing their ability to react quickly to urgent changes. In conclusion, innovation is not just about coming up with new ideas. It's about how these ideas are managed and implemented. The best companies understand that innovation requires a multifaceted approach, including a focus on radical innovation, risk-taking, and long-term strategies. As the world continues to evolve, so must the strategies companies employ to stay ahead in the game of innovation. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, 
The Enlight Me app is just a tap away. Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond, all curated to fit your interests. Download the Enlight Me app now at the Apple Store or Google Play, or visit the enlightme.ai website. Stay curious. Stay enlightened.